Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays and something rather special today. Today we're down on the range. Excuse me while I just reload. And we're going to be having a look at this little beauty. This is the AMRAP. Now this vehicle is kind of a replacement for the Humvee but this thing has a lot more protection from RPGs and AT. It's going to be a lot more difficult to take this thing down, so let's just get in here and have a little look at this beauty. As you can see, it is a beast. As you can see, I am stood up here, so it's probably about, what, 8 foot, 9 foot high? Tow bar on the front, nice crystal lights there. Big, thick, chunky tyres on this side. In fact, we'll go the other side. There is actually a 50 cal up there as well. A little bit better lighting on this side, as you can see. Lots of protection. Suicide doors. Massive exhaust. And we've got plenty of room on the back as well for extra storage and things like that. A tow bar at the back. So this thing is... It's a nice looking thing. Great support vehicle. and uh, Definitely something we can use when we're out and about on these long ranges. Because there are some decent maps coming with bigger areas to cover so this is going to be absolutely fantastic so let's get in and see what this thing looks like on the inside oops okay so here we are this is the driver's position quite a small and narrow position for this bulletproof glass here and very simplistic on the inside obviously if this vehicle gets rocked by an IED you don't want things pointing around and killing you when you get rocked around quite a nicely detailed dashboard there we can see miles per hour temperature heat and all the good stuff and a nice little animation for the hands as well as we are turning so let's just get the in fact let's have a look at the other seats before we actually move this is the commander's seat powered by squirrel inside <laughs> oh squid squirrel um yep yeah. Very nice, quite a nice view actually for the commander. And what else have we got? We have the gunner's position. Nice and beefy as we are quite used to and of course we have the Q key in order for us to, be able to zoom in. And we have the rear passenger seat with the joystick which I would presume on that side, that is for the actual gunner down there. And yeah, nicely, very nicely modelled indeed. I think there's just the four seats. Yeah, just the four seats. Let's get the engine going. Quite a nice little purr to it. Not that noisy, really. Let's just jump out and have a look. Very, well, what can I say? Very truckish. <laughs> Let's get in and have a look then. And have a little drive around. Always pressing the wrong key. very solid and beefy. We are actually down at the range at the minute so I'm not doing this in multiplayer so there's no actual opportunities for me to test this against RPGs but this thing certainly isn't going to explode as easy as the other one. We haven't actually got the official stats on this as yet. What a lot of people may not know as well is that in the last patch if you held down or pressed left shift it actually puts a lot of the vehicles into a 4x4 mode which means if you get stuck put it in this a lot slower but you will get yourself out of damage and out of trouble a lot easier. Nice vehicle, quite looking forward to being able to use this in multiplayer. But we have something else quite exciting to show you today. So we're going to head on down to the bottom of the range. A lot of you already know, I may have put it in the description already. That's right, we're going to be having a look at the mortars. A lot of people have been wanting this, but well, they're finally here, and I can tell you what, they kick some serious ass. Let's just park this bad boy over here. Turn the engine off. Get out. So that is the AMRAP. Beautiful. So over here we have the mortars. We have the M252 81mm mortar. Then we have the, what's this one? The M1937, these mean nothing to me to be honest with you. And then at the end here we have, what have we got? Just about see it. 2B14 Podnos 82mm. And as we can see up here, 
these are really nicely modeled as everything is in squad let's be honest absolutely beautiful even down to the little bits of rust here as you can see on there very nice and we can actually see the shells as well there awesome as I've got a plane flying over and this one is the M1937 again very very nicely modelled beautiful look at that stunning so let's get in and have a look and we'll fire some downrange and what we'll do we'll do uh, let's go for this bad boy here so this one here 100 meters let's just put some down there directly onto this vehicle in fact we'll go for the building so let's jump in here if we can get it you know I always press the wrong button there we go now in order to move this we can use uh, our mouse so we're gonna scroll that over roughly in the right direction and then we're gonna bring up the computer which is the right mouse button and this enables us to be able to change the elevation left and right and what's good about this is on the left we can see that if I want to go for 100 meters which is roughly where that building is the mills need to be 1558 so we're gonna scroll this up to 1558 by the way 1558 is around here so we're gonna go for the building what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire one directly then I'm going to move it slightly over and then over that way so that we get almost like a three tier because you can only fire three at once before you have to reload so rather than them all coming here if the enemy here this one will start to run this way and then we'll get them that way well that's the, the theory anyway so let's three rounds hitchy fire for effect it's one two whoops Fire for effect. Splash out. And now we wait for the amazing work of Anders and the the graphics guys down at squad. Let's listen out. Just beautiful. It is, isn't it? Beautiful. <laughs> oh, I thought we'll do another test. We'll do another one. Let's have a look. 400 meters for that truck. Let's go for this one over here. They're all pretty much the same. There is, I don't think at this stage there is any difference in the effect of these. It would be nice if we had um, illumination rounds as well, you know, for the night maps or smoke, etc., etc. So we're going to go for uh, what did we say? 400. So that's 1431. 1431. And we said it was going to be the 400 meter one, which was. I think it was that one. A little bit hard to see. 400 meters, 1431. There we go. Let's just come out. Get our. Have we got binoculars? Yes, we have. Get our binos out. And hopefully, I think I've aimed for the wrong one. But anyway. So what this is going to mean is, is at some point you're going to have to calculate the distance. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're going to have to work out the, the distance with somebody with binos or work out on the map how far it is and work out your old calculation. And it works by the squad leader actually putting it down as an emplacement. It's not an actual dedicated role as such. Another thing, another feature that you may notice in this release is if we come into the menu here and we come under graphics, we've actually got some new settings. We've got some new anti-alias settings. Now I've been using the TXAA. It does leave a weird blur sometimes, but we also now have uh, uh, TXA plus FXA and SMA. And we've also down here, we have a new effects tab called cinematic. Now I've tried all these and I'm not actually quite sure what the difference is between them haven't really noticed a huge amount of difference but it's nice that we've actually got the option there should we want to crank it up a little bit more of course the more you push it up certainly maps such as for me personally fool's road i do tend to struggle a little bit but i should leave you with a couple more rounds in here we'll go for the closest one and then i shall bid you 
Au revoir. 100 metres. About this go for 50. Sod it. 50, 1579. Danger, as you can see. One. Two. Three. Now let's get that fuck out of here. In fact, let's get in the vehicle. <laughs> Quick. And where are they? We'll hear the whoosh in a minute. In fact, before we go, let's do an experiment and see how much damage mortars will actually do to this vehicle. Why not? All in the name of parascience. Let's blast it. We'll, we'll give it three rounds, eh? We'll get on each mortar. Get them reloaded. Get that bad boy under fire. Right. Let's get in. Get you reloaded. Enemy vehicle seen. Northwest 177. Fire for effect. Here we go. 50 meters. 1579. see what damage this does to said vehicle. I'm listening out for the whoosh whoosh. Ooh, and as you can see the vehicle is actually on fire there. Let's give it a couple more and see if we can get this bad boy to blow it. In fact, that may actually go already, actually. 1579. I'm getting this one. Come on, get around there quick. 1579. That may have actually destroyed the vehicle, I think. Don't know how far the splash damage is. We're about to find out, as you can see. Holy shit! Holy shit! Fucking hell. <laughs> and of course, you know what we're going to do now? We're going to fire the rounds and see what it's like to be in the centre of an incoming. Mortar barrage. You know it's coming. You know we've got to do it. Right. I'm going to stand right in front of that vehicle. Bob's your uncle. Bob, Rita Sue. And Bob too. Is that a three? Yeah, it is. Let's go for a little run. This is going to be painful. Do we actually see the mortars coming down? They're going to be going that quick. God, here we go. Jesus! <laughs> the answer is yes. I've been para players. These have been mortars. Oh, oh, I've got one more thing to show you, actually, before we can play some more. 